In this video, we're going to learn how to fill an array in C with unique random numbers. The first thing we'll do is include the stdlib.h library so that we can use the rand function to generate random numbers. We'll also include the time.h library and the uni std.h library so that we can use the time function from the time library and the get PID function from the uni std.h library to seed the random number generator. We'll also include the stdbool.h library so that we can use a bool type variable and the values true and false. The first thing we'll do is seed the random number generator. We need to provide a seed value that's going to be different each time the program runs. So that way, the random numbers that our program generates will be different each time it runs. So we pass the seed value as an argument to the function srand. The function time, when it's passed the argument null, is going to return the current time represented as an integer. The current time is going to be different each time the program runs. So it's going to be a good number to use as a seed value. We're going to multiply the current time by the current process ID as given by the getPID function. So the getPID function is going to return the current process ID represented as an integer. The process ID is going to be unique for each running process on our computer. Integrating both the process ID and the current time into our seed value is going to make an even more unique and better seed value. Next, let's declare an array of 10 ints. So we'll have int a 10. Now let's create a function that's gonna fill this array with unique random values. So we'll call the function fill underscore unique. And the function is going to have four parameters, the array itself, the length of the array, and the min and max values for our random numbers. So down here, we'll provide a definition for this function. And the first thing we'll do is declare a couple variables. We're gonna declare a variable called new underscore random that's going to store the new random numbers that we generate. We'll also declare a variable called unique and it's gonna be a bool type variable. And unique is gonna help us to keep track of whether or not the random number that we've generated is unique or not. So we need to fill each element in the array with a unique random number. So the first thing we'll do is create a loop with a counter variable i that's gonna go from zero up until the length of the array. So we're gonna increment i by one, starting off from zero in this loop until it reaches the length. So we're gonna have access to each element in our array. And what we're going to do is set each element in the array at the index i equal to a new random value. Now the trickier part is going to be determining this new random value because we need to make sure that the new random value we've generated is not already in the array. We need each array value to be unique. So the next thing we'll do is generate the random number inside a do while loop we're going to use a do while structure because we're always gonna to have to generate the random number at least once. But if it turns out the random number that we've generated is not unique, then we can attempt to generate the random number again and again in the loop until eventually we do find a unique number that is not already in the array. So we'll set new underscore random equal to the random value in the range min to max. To do that, we'll call the rand function and we'll have modulus max minus min plus one and then plus min. So this expression here will give us a random number between min and max, including min and max as potential values. And the way it works is that the rand function is going to return a random integer between zero and some very large integer. The modulus operator is going to return the remainder when this random integer is divided by max minus min plus one. Now, what we ultimately want is random integers in the range min to max, including min and max. If we take a random integer and divide it by something like four, the possible remainders of dividing a number by four are zero, one, two, and three. So the numbers are in the range zero to three. The max is one less than four. Dividing the random number by max minus min plus one will therefore give us remainders in the range zero, 
to max minus min. If we then add min to this number, we'll have a random number in the range min minus max because zero plus min gives us min and max minus min plus min gives us max. So we then have a range min to max. So that's how this expression works. Next, we need to make sure that this new random number that we've generated is not already in the array. Otherwise, it's not unique. So what we'll do is create a loop to go through and check to see if it's in the array or not. So we're gonna have the unique variable set to true. We're going to assume that the value is unique until we can show that it isn't. Then we'll have a loop that's gonna go through all the values that we've put into the array so far. So we'll have four int j is equal to zero, and we're gonna have this new counter variable j go up until i, because so far we've put i values into the array. Then we'll have j plus plus. So this for loop here is gonna go from zero up until the current index that we're about to set. And we're gonna to check to see if at any of the previous indexes, we've already set this value, new random. So if the array at index j is equal to new random, then we're going to set unique to false because this new random number is not unique. So if unique is set to false, then the loop is going to run again until eventually we find a random number that is unique. At that point, we're gonna put that new random number at index i in the array. So let's test this function out now. Up here, we'll call fill unique, and we're going to pass it a r array, the length, which is 10, and for the min value, let's say one, and for the max value, let's say 10. Then down here, we'll print out the elements of the array, just to check to see that they've been set to random values. So we'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus, and here we'll print out each value in the array. So we'll have a percent d is equal to percent d backslash n, and we're going to output the index here and the value at that index. And if we save, compile, and run this program, we're gonna find that the array a has been populated with 10 random values from one to 10. We could try a different range. We could try the range let's say 920 up until 990. And if we save, compile, and run this, we're gonna see that our array has been populated with values in this range. So this is how we can populate an array with unique random numbers in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.